Hey guys and welcome to World of Warships with Vlevu. In today's replay I've got uh, one more of my subscribers replays to show you today. And as previously with the Dead Ski replay I will uh, do a quick commentary on how Sosna83 is doing in his Benson. But you will see yourself uh, there isn't really that much to correct here. Sosna's gameplay will be uh, almost flawless. This is the masterclass in how to sail the Benson. So he spawns with his team in the southern, uh, southern part of the map trap. It's a 3 cup domination mode and he's moving on towards the A cup which is the closest one. And he's just assessing what sort of uh, and enemy destroyers he is up against, at least that's what I would be doing right now looking at the team list. And as he is moving in towards A, and he's just about to start capping, um, he decides that he wants to bait the enemy destroyers to uh, come in a bit closer and feel a bit bolder. I know this because uh, he wrote this to me. Uh, when submitting this replay and this is very very smart play what he's doing right now basically got into the cup for a moment and basically made himself known to the enemy destroyers now they know that he's around there but he sailed out of the cup and he's allowing the destroyer to cap in peace and what he's doing, he's repositioning uh, uh, with the hopes of uh, surprising the destroyer, the enemy destroyer, from the side that he would not be expecting. So that's the A cup already capped uh, by the enemy. The B cup, B cup will fall very soon and if you notice at the map, there's a very interesting three ship force uh, moving towards the sea cup, but they're taking the scenic route, I guess. Uh, let's. Um, I wonder how, just how much they're actually going to, to be able to achieve there. Uh, so the first cruiser shows up, and the fact that uh, the Sosna has decided to withhold fire means that the New Orleans is focusing on somebody else at least initially and that's where the uh, enemy Fubuki uh, pops into spot spotting range and it's only 4.8 kilometers away and uh, Sosna is doing really short work of this Fubuki uh, I hope you notice the fact that he seems to have a really good eye when it comes to Estimating the lead necessary, uh, his first shots are usually bang on target, and this is a theme that will be going through the whole rest of this replay. So Sosna left the uh, Fubuki full of holes but still alive, and he was just running away from the Fubuki's torpedoes and he happened to run into the map edge but the moment he notices that he's uh, moving off it and he's moving back into towards the cap. So situational awareness right now there is a, um, a smoke screen right ahead of uh, Sosna's Benson. There's a Pensacola moving in it's at 11.3 kilometers at the moment and Sosna is not spotted and it seems that he's preparing to do a torpedo run on the Pensacola and this angle coming slightly from the front is uh, I think the best one to actually do torpedo runs on any sort of a ship because it basically means that the torpedo and the targeted ship are almost running uh, head on at each other and that leaves little to no time for the target to actually do any evasive maneuvers. But before his torpedoes reach the target, 
uh, somebody else's torpedoes do really short work of the Pensacola and Sosna just kill secures the Pensacola at the end. So he's got about a minute and 15 seconds till his torpedoes are reloaded again and he's being spotted coming in and out of uh, the spotting range of uh, some other ship. It's most likely the destroyer. And now the Hatsuharu shows up, so that's another destroyer in the area, including those two battleships and a cruiser. And uh, Sosna opens up on the Hatsuharu. And as you can see, uh, individual shots, even when they actually strike the target, they don't really do that much damage. But if you add all of this up with the insane uh, rate of fire the Benson has got, it all adds up. So now Sosna switches targets to the Nagato and as you can see he's dropping speed and uh, he's very close so he knows that his fire will be very accurate and just see how much damage uh, his guns are actually doing to this previously untouched Nagato. He's obviously trying to set him on fire but the actual HE damage that he's inflicting on the ship is quite uh, significant for such a small caliber of the guns obviously and now that the torpedoes are reloaded he's still sitting in smoke so he's quite safe the Nagato is sailing towards him so again this is the perfect uh, torpedo position basically gives the target the least amount of time to uh, react to the torpedo incoming and he quickly switches targets he's not going to waste time just watching the torpedoes and uh, he switches targets to the Hatsuharu that is only 4 kilometers away from him. Three torpedoes kill the Nagato. And the Hatsuharu is only 3 kilometers away. One more kilometer and the smoke won't be able to help. The Hatsuharu will be able to spot him. But before that happens, Sosna 83 kills the Hatsuharu with his guns. Okay, next target is the Fubuki, yet another Fubuki, uh, so that's all three of the enemy destroyers being in the area. And he engages the uh, full health Fubuki first, but uh, he was, for a moment there, he was considering just finishing off uh, the Fubuki that was only a half, half health. And in my opinion, this is a very good decision, obviously you want to reduce the number of guns that are being pointed at your team and that the easiest way to do that is to kill ships. So he's moving away, uh, still shelling the Fubuki, but at this distance it's very unlikely that he actually is going to make any contact with his shells. So he's turning around again, switching targets to the New Orleans, that should be a much easier target to hit from this distance. And as you can see the Benson's uh, guns are uh, producing a very high uh, shell arc and you need to give a lot of leads in order to be able to hit your targets accurately. So the New Orleans is under fire but admittedly um, Sosna does not have that much luck with hitting it and uh, New Orleans is also quite good at um, evasive maneuvers. He's scoring some hits now. The enemy ship north uh, from the A Cup seem to have perished. There's only one uh, enemy ship on the sea cap trying to get sea, uh, but both the caps for now are uh, belong to Sosna's team. And check out this torpedo avoidance action. This is really good. Uh, Sosna did all the things necessary to be able to avoid those torpedoes. He dropped his speed. He then turned into them, and most importantly, he timed his turn to be precisely at the right moment to be able to avoid uh, those torpedoes going between them 
I believe that the technical term for this is uh, coming the torpedo spread. So he's switching targets, he's just noticed the enemy North Carolina moving in and it's only 6.6 .6 kilometers away. North Carolina is well within the reach of his torpedoes. He was just waiting for the Fubuki to pass and I do have my reservations as far as this uh, torpedo launch goes because that Fubuki was actually pointing towards the east and should he have decided to uh, move he might have well uh, sailed into those torpedoes. That was a bit of a chancy uh, launch but I'm not going to double guess uh, Sosna. Uh, judging by the performance he's uh, giving in this particular replay I, I believe that he was aware of the risks involved in launching the torpedoes like that. So the North Carolina seems to be occupied with the other destroyer and uh, Sosna has got uh, free rain in uh, basically shelling the, the battleship from a distance. He's doing some damage but minimal, there isn't really that much uh, that he's actually achieving here. So as soon as the enemy Fubuki shows up only 5.7 kilometers away, he switches targets uh, because he knows that he will be much more useful right here. So he just got spotted and the Fubuki is almost dead, just another couple of more sh hits. And that's the Fubuki gone. So, so far Sosna has done 76 thousand of damage and any of the flooding and uh, fire damage that is not being registered by the counter. So he's moving away, he's very aware of his own uh, health pool being very low. Uh, he wants to get some space between those three enemy ships and himself. He does not stop shooting. Uh, those two torpedo spreads, one wide, one narrow, are aimed at the Fubuki. And uh, he's... He keeps on shooting. And now he stopped shooting and I believe that the goal here was to stop being detected. And... He, as you can see, he keeps on popping in and out of spotting. And that's where his torpedo finds its target. Devastating strike and the Kraken Unleashed are the awards that go along with it. So looking at the scoreboard, the enemy team has got quite a significant point advantage. And they've also got two of the three cups. So Sosna's team is at, an, at a disadvantage here and uh, Sosna has to start acting if he wants this battle to be won. He's keeping his distance from the New Orleans and he's waiting for an opportune moment to start shelling the New Orleans. And now that the New Orleans is showing his side, I believe he's considering why, whether or not to start shooting or wait for the torpedoes to reload. So as you can see he still keeps on quite a healthy distance between himself and the New Orleans with the 3000 with the 3800 health points that uh, Sosna has got on his destroyer right now. It he is basically a one shot for the New Orleans. So I'm co I completely understand why he decides to stay uh, stealthy and also looking at the torpedoes that are coming in he might actually be able to score a, a very good torpedo hit on the New Orleans. And yet the New Orleans manages to outmaneuver the torpedoes just by a fraction. 
Uh, but somebody else scores a pretty big hit right before that happens on the new lease and uh, now Sosna opens up with his guns and as you can see it really does not take that long for the new leans to perish. So that's three ships to two enemy ships right now. The enemy still holds two of the caps uh, but the A cap is being uh, capped at the moment by uh, a friendly cruiser. So Sosna does not waste any time and he's moving on towards the uh, towards the B cap. At this point, with 4 minutes left, if it was me sailing uh, here, I would have been worried anyway because the point advantage that the enemy team has got is big enough for the enemy team to win if uh, no ships are going to get destroyed by the TLT end of the battle, but this is the moment when Sosna spots the enemy Atlanta and the enemy Atlanta is only on about 3000 health and he opens up really quickly on the Atlanta uh, trying to figure out how much lead to give the Atlanta's uh, maneuvering and trying to turn away but as you can see it's way too late and the Atlanta is gone so only one ship left on the enemy team uh, 9 kilometers away well within the distance of the torpedoes He launches two narrow spreads and he, as you can see, Sosna combines them together to create a very wide fan of um, a very wide spread of torpedoes. And he's sitting in smoke uh, quite safe at this distance, 7.2 kilometers, and he's doing exactly what an American gunboat should be doing. So he's shelling this uh, poor battleship. Uh, hoping to set it on fire and just waiting for his own torpedoes to reach uh, their target and that's one, two, three and four torpedoes confederate and a high caliber awards only 6000 life left Four and a half, three, and that's the game over. Moving on to the final battle result screen, I think it goes without saying that this had been a monster game for uh, Sosna 83 and his Benson. Just check out those five awards that uh, Sosna has got. Uh, the three of them. Uh, are really important is the Confederate, the High Caliber and the Kraken Unleashed. These are really good awards and uh, he should be proud of his achievement. So moving on to the other stats, 614,000 of profit for this game and a monster 17, over 17,500 of experience. Nearly a thousand of free experience just for this one game. And he achieved this by Landing 252, uh, 252 hits on target, he managed to get 8 torpedoes hit uh, the enemies. He killed 7 ships and he set 3 fires in the process. This monster of a game translates into 3384 base experience in the first well deserved place on his team. And the total damage he dealt in this match came to a whopping 169,345. As far as profits go, uh, there's no surprise that this had been a very profitable game for uh, Sosna. He, he is running a premium account and he was also uh, flying the money flag while he was sailing this uh, Benson. And this came up to 525,000 of pure profit after all the repairs and refits, which is a very good result for this tier 8 American destroyer. So guys, I hope that uh, this replay has shown you how many things compound together into a very good replay and a very good gameplay. Sosna 
has done an excellent job of sailing his destroyer, always making sure that he's keeping his distance from the enemies, uh, retreating whenever necessary, and repositioning whenever it suited him better. And I hope that this replay has been as entertaining for you as it was for me to watch. And if you did enjoy watching this, please rate the video down below. And also hit the subscribe button at the top there if you'd like to see more of my materials. So for now I say thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the open seas.